Write us a 100 word story about a person who saw something at a garage sale and found out a terrible secret about himself or his family. Once, psychopaths broke into our house and tortured me and my parents with scissors. After that, I went to mental dispensary. My mind wanted to forget the nightmare I experienced, block all memories. I didn't even remember my parents. Today, I was discharged. On the way home, my parents and I stopped at the garage sale of some house. Dad really wanted to find something. I was bored until my eyes fell on the family portrait of the owners. On it, next to a happy married couple, was me. There are things of the previous owners. They were killed a year ago. The owner of the sale signed. If my parents are dead, then who are these strangers? Oh, my scissors! Knew I dropped them in this house that night. Papa smiled madly. Let's go, son! I played in the basement. My parents held a garage sale and told me not to make noise. They were selling my old baby clothes. I became curious. I put on my hood and climbed out through the window. Oh, wonderful pajamas, smiled some old lady customer. But you don't have kids, right? Oh, um, this is my sister's from Baltimore. Mom lied for some reason. Then this old lady bumped into me. The hood fell off my face. She looked at me, yelped and fainted. My parents noticed that I got out. Son, uh, we love you very much, Dad fastened the chain on my leg and moved the bowl of fish heads. Just don't go out of the basement without permission again. As parting, he kissed me on the third eye and stroked my horns. I was running away from school bullies and pondering what my parents said. We have something important to say. He had a neighbor's old man's garage sale. The senile called our family weakness, but himself was selling coffins. Crazy. It's a trophy, Jimmy, in which I tried to kill your girl father. Mr. Helsing showed a black and white photo, on which there were father and the young neighbor, but my father hasn't aged a day since then. So we are like immortal vampires? Cool. That's what parents wanted to say. Hooligans showed up and I had to run away. They drove me to the edge of the roof of the construction site. Screw it, I'm immortal. So I stepped down. Son, you are adopted. A message flashed on a phone next to the bloody stain on a sidewalk. Working in the rain, Andy remembered finding a leaflet at the fortune teller's garage sale as a child. It had ten women's name written on it. The old woman squinted blindly at him and called him a murderer. Then he did not understand what it all meant, but for some reason he kept a list. Why did he remember this after 15 years, burying the body of Lily Grace in a wasteland? Because accidentally found that piece of paper in an old jacket. Strangely, the first name is now gone. And they grinned madly and started digging new graves. With Lily Grace everything happened by chance, but there are nine more names. Finally, he understood what the list was about and what the fortune teller's words meant. My neighbor Archie was blind. He recently died. For some reason, the poor fellow went out of the highway at night and was hit by a truck. The guy's parents staged a sale of his things. I wanted to take his huge dog Butch. The neighbor's parents looked at each other anxiously and gave it away for free. The dog turned out to be unrealistically smart, literally became a family, but over time Butch began to show character. He got angry if I spent little time with him. He even beat my girlfriend Jane out of jealousy. She advised to get rid of the dog. The next day I found Jane's body. Someone had torn her throat out, and Butch's fur was stained with blood. It finally drowned me that Archie never went anywhere without a guide dog. And that night he went out on the truck is no coincidence. Moved to a new house, inherited from relatives whom I did not know. 
I decided to sell at the garage sale the trash that was picked in the attic. But to keep the military uniform of the Second World War for now, I hung it on a chair next to the bed. At night I dreamed that in this uniform the old man was sitting and looking at me. In the morning a neighbor came by. She said that her grandfather used to live here. He was evil. And he said that when he dies he will drag everyone to the next world with him. We entered the bedroom. The neighbor saw the uniform, turned white with horror and ran away. A little later she called me. Get out of there! It's the old man's dress uniform! So what? He was buried in it! I didn't have time to answer. A chair sat cracked behind me. My parents are very talented doctors and they always worked hard. Unfortunately, this did not save us from poverty. Everything changed when a terrible epidemic hit the world, seriously reducing the population of the earth. The infected died in terrible agony, literally rotted alive. Mankind was saved by my parents, who invented a cure for the virus. Now we have become a very powerful and wealthy family, getting ready to move into a new house. I sorted through things, something was thrown away, something could be sold at a garage sale. Suddenly I came across my parents' workbooks. I began to study with curiosity, and I was horrified to learn that before inventing a cure, my parents invented a virus itself. My parents are very talented businessmen. Got fired from work. The wife left. Martin wandered dejectedly down the street. Suddenly, a curious thing at the garage sale caught his attention. Wooden box. He had the same one when he was a child. He took the box in his hands. One to one, no down corners, brown spots on the sides. Here, the long-forgotten memory surfaced. In the box was the friend who saved Martin from a bad mood. Once he offered to kill the neighbor's old woman. A blow, and the corner broke up from the box. Another blow, and the box was covered with red spots. The police did not believe that the five-year-old kid could do this. Martin even remembered carving his friend's name into the bottom of the box. Now he turned it over and Beelzebub, with trembling hands, opened the box. Why so long, Martin? You have a bad mood? Marianne bought a homemade bracelet from an old lady at the garage sale. There were many different ones, woven from bright ribbons. Marianne put it on her hand and walked on. Suddenly she noticed an inscription on one of the ribbons. She untwisted the bracelet and read, The old woman keeps us in her basement. Marianne pulled back. The old woman was sitting by the road. She forced us to make bracelets for her. Marianne read barely noticeable letters on the ribbon. She climbed into the old woman's house and found the cellar. Opened a rusty lock. The day before yesterday, Timmy fell ill and could not make bracelets. The old woman ate him. A chill ran down Marianne's back. Suddenly, someone pushed her from behind, and Marianne rolled into the basement. Here, a new one. The old woman's voice rasped. Teach her how to wave bracelets. It got too noisy. Vlad got up from the bench and left the park. Ahead appeared a garage, in front of which sat an old man, laying out a bunch of old things. Garage sale. Choose, the old man said dryly. Things were painfully familiar. The textbook that Vlad stole from school. A hat knitted by grandmother. Gypsum sighted by classmate. Vlad took a small boat, a favorite childhood toy. An excellent choice, the old man got up. Let's go. Vlad followed the old man through the garage. Why are there so many things from his past? Soon the garage ended and they were on the deck of the boat, in the middle of the river. 
Where are we going? Vlad asked anxiously. Still do not understand? And Vlad remembered. His body was left lying on a park bench. Frightened people gathered around. Can't be, he shouted. From the other side, it pulled with a chill and grave cult. Let us know which story you liked the most in the comments down below. And also send us new themes for 100 word stories. Don't forget to subscribe and click the thumb button.